don't care about the low-income families because they're one, they're willing to walk away from a program. And then two, they're they're using bullying. I mean, this is this is the Sopranos. They're using bullying tactics to attack our state. It's wrong. Mighty strong comments there from Florida Governor Rick Scott as we welcome you into hour two of America's Forum for this Friday morning. I'm J.D. Hayworth. Governor Scott is taking on the Obama administration after being told to expand Medicaid or perhaps lose federal health care dollars coming to Florida. Joining us for more on this story is the man himself, the chief executive of the Sunshine State, Florida Governor Rick Scott. Uh, Governor, we thank you for phoning in from Tallahassee. This lawsuit. Hey, this, is, this is outrageous. Well, it is outrageous. And is there more than money at stake? Well, let's think about this first. You know, the Obama administration is saying they're not worried about poor people. We have an existing program that was started by the federal government in 2006 to fix the low income pool. They are, they are saying they're going to walk away from that program, step one, unless we expand Obamacare. So, one, they're not worried about poor people. Two, it's a complete uh, violation of what Justice Roberts said in NFIB versus Sibelius. It said that the federal government, in particular the Obama administration, cannot use bullying tactics to coerce the state to expand Obamacare. And that's exactly what, we're, what they're doing. And we all know that Obamacare has not worked. Costs have gone up. See, it's not good for our taxpayers. It's not good for our companies. It's not good for our jobs. So I'm going to stand up against the federal government for the citizens, the 20 million people that I represent in the great state of Florida. Mindful of that fact, Governor, do you believe President Obama personally is interested more in power than in people? If you look at what he's doing here, it sure looks like all he he's going to use all of his bullying tactics. I, I said yesterday, this is like the Sopranos. Uh, you know, it's, it's a you know, it's not. We don't have a choice. Our state has the right to make our own decisions. Our taxpayers have the right to make our own decisions. Also, let's remember this: he's walking away from a, a program for the poor. All right, that would not these this is not these are not the individuals that would be covered by an expansion of Obamacare. Number two, we they have not cut our federal taxes. Have you seen your taxes go down? Uh, J.D., they haven't. So we're paying these federal taxes, and then they're cutting back on programs that have helped our poor-income families. And then I cannot imagine how they think they can bully states like what they're trying to do to Florida to, to force a bad bill, Obamacare, on our population. Now, of course, the line from the White House uh, was uh, pronounced by the presidential press secretary. Josh Earnest insists that expanding Medicaid would ensure that 800,000 Floridians get access to health care coverage. Is that true? What, how is he making that claim? Well, step one, uh, the, this program that is an existing program, it's a federal program for low-income pools, is a totally different population than what would be taken care of in the expansion of Obamacare. Now, when I came into office in 2011, we had a Medicaid program, a program for those that can't afford their own health care, that was growing at three times the cost, growing at three times our general revenue. So we did historic Medicaid reform. So now we have a program, and that program was approved by the federal government. We have a program now that our taxpayers can't afford. Right? We've gone now from a $4 billion budget deficit to a $1.8 billion surplus, and in the meantime, paying now $7.5 billion for the debt. So our existing program, Medicaid program now, we can afford and our Medicaid recipients have somebody responsible for their care. The program we have in place is absolutely working very well. But now the president wants to cut out a federal program. And see, think about it. So would you go do business with somebody that they say, oh, come and expand a program. We'll pay our part. Oh, but by the way, we're walking away. The same group is walking away from something they told you they would do before. Would you do that in your business life? No way. I'm not going to do it to our citizens. Mindful of that, it seems, Governor, before you go, about a minute, uh, there's another court case that's important. Uh, today, uh, the president's executive action on so-called immigration reform heads to an appeals court after a federal judge in Texas blocked it. Now, Florida is one of the states that is part of that lawsuit. What do you expect from that uh, circuit court of appeals in New Orleans today? Well, I'm hopeful, but let's, let's think about it, J.D., this is a president that doesn't understand there's three branches of government. There's the executive branch. He's part of that. So am I. 
I have to work with my legislature. I don't get to pass laws. I don't get to just do executive actions that say, I don't care what Congress thinks, or in my case, the legislature. I have to work with them. They are the ones that get to pass laws. The president should not be doing these executive orders. He should do what I've done. I work with my legislature. It's not exactly the way I want things. I w- it's a compromise. You get their ideas, and if you want something done, you've got to work with their ideas and your ideas, and you've got to persuade. The president doesn't want to go persuade, and he, and he wants to think that he's a dictator. He's not. He needs to understand that there's three branches of government. He is simply the executive branch. He's and not the legislative And we will branch. have to leave it there. Florida Governor Rick Scott, we thank you for your time, and there's more straight ahead on America's Forum.